So tonight is about remembering and respecting and learning more so we can shape our future. But before we can do this, we need to take an assessment, an accurate assessment of where we are in Williams Lake. I don't know if everybody's aware, but earlier in July, this summer, Williams Lake ranked number one nationally with the Crime Severity Index. This is all across Canada. We've got some serious problems. That figure is not just counting stats, it's counting the severity of the, and the violence of the crimes that are going on in Williams Lake. So we've got our work cut out for us in this community. Tonight, I would like to draw the line. We are going to be saying tonight, no more fear and intimidation. We're saying no to hatred and racism. We're saying no to poverty and addictions. And we are saying no to crime and violence. Tonight, we are saying yes. We're saying yes to respect, yes to families, yes to all people, regardless of race, gender, age, or economic status. We are declaring that everyone deserves a right to live and raise their families and their children in a safe and healthy community. Unfortunately, every year, assault, crime, sexual abuse, and domestic violence, they happen. They happen all the time, especially in this town. And frequently, they're labeled crimes of silence because of low reporting rates and reluctance by victims if uh, victims come forward and share their story. It is something the community of Williams Lake can put an end to. Since January 2009, Williams Lake has been has seen 86 domestic violence calls with only six resulting in no uh, assaults. But with the exception of robberies, this town has seen dramatic decreases uh, over the past half year, close to a year.